these small business owners are getting the rent increased by more than 250%. Right now my rent is $1,600 and it would go up to $5,300 in 60 days. That's a 330% increase for Ruben Flores, who runs this 35-year-old typewriter repair shop in the Highland Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. The same landlord is hiking the rent by 250% for a flower shop, a vintage furniture store, and a barber shop on the same block. That's, that's, that's kind of ridiculous, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of businesses will, will be moving because of that. The landlord did not respond to a request for comment. If you ask Highland Park residents, they say it's because of gentrification or the process of renovating an area so that it conforms to a middle class state. Yeah, everything still be closed. The swami still be closed right here, but they closed it down. Longtime resident Vanessa Arteaga says five years ago, Highland Park used to be gang laden and largely Latino. She says it's safer now, but also way more white and expensive. The average price of a home has nearly doubled in the last five years, according to Trulia. Some newcomers feel conflicted. I feel like I'm part of that, that change, and I don't know what to do about it or like to, I don't, I don't know. What's happening in Highland Park is happening all over the nation. According to one study from 2015 to 2016, retail rents increased by 16% in Oakland and 26% in Charleston. What's at the root of all this? A host of factors, like a rise in the number of people moving to cities in search of walkable urban districts. But real estate developers flocking to low-income areas like Highland Park say there's nothing to feel bad about. It's not gentrification, it's transformation. And change is inevitable, especially in Los Angeles. We do have a housing crisis, but we found that more people are buying and transforming their neighborhoods so they can ultimately have a place they live, work, and play. And that's making the community properties values all go up at once. Flores says he likely won't be able to pay the new lease and plans to move his business into his home. The other business owners declined to go on camera because they say the landlord agreed to have a meeting with them in the coming weeks to negotiate a different rate. Flores didn't get one of those meetings. I let them know it's your property, you have a right to do what you want, but how can you, how can you not give us this warning to any of us in this corner? Oh, I understand things change, things get more expensive just to come in overnight not give us at least six months or a year. And that's the only thing that upsets me, you know? I